what is the default amount of memory allocated to a Docker container? And this is where we are going to see the concept of CPU. So let me show you with the help of an example. So if you can see this machine, this is like close to, this is a physical machine, as you can see, I have logged in as an EC2 user. And this is having a, like a one GB of memory, close to one GB of memory, right? Now, let me run one Docker container. Again, I will go with CentOS, it doesn't matter, or Ubuntu, whatever. Okay. If I run this command pre hyphen M, how many of you think how much is the memory which is allocated to a container? Because when I ran this command, I did not specify any memory which need to be allocated to this container. So what do you guys think? How much is the memory which is allocated to this container, which I have just spun it up? Yeah, Shabaj and actually you guys are correct, the whole memory. So by default, if you do not specify any memory limit, it is going to get the whole memory which is present on your host machine. Okay. Now my question is, is there any way to restrict it? I do not want this like 949 uh, MB of memory used by this particular container. Let's say I need to spun like two more container in this machine. So is there any way I can restrict that out? We just spoke about the C group concept. So yes, we are going to do it with a C group, but how? Yes, we can restrict it while running the task, starting the transition. Yes, that's my question, Ishaya, how? Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, no worries, I mean, uh, even. Uh, no, Akshay, there's no use, I mean, there's no, I mean, that you are talking in terms of C groups, yes, we can always, create a C group and at the C group level, I can define that this user or a group should have this much amount of memory. But if you go to Docker container then and hyphen hyphen L and go down, you see, uh, I can show you, you can restrict even up to the CPU level. If you go down, you can do even up to the memory level. You can specify the byte. Okay, so let's run this. And then we will see. So I will say M, okay. And to make Himanshu happy, I can say 256M hyphen IT, CentOS, and bash. Okay. So now what I have done is that I have restricted the memory because hyphen M flag we have just seen is for memory restriction. I have assigned 256MB of memory to this particular container. Right now, again, my question is if I ran this command pre hyphen M, how much, how, what do you guys think? How much is the, now the memory allocated to this container, this new container? 56 MB. I think uh, it is, it take whatever it required to run the like binaries and everything. It will not take 256, that is the maximum limit. Yeah, but <laughs> Imanchu, or uh, yeah, somebody said uh, 256, but Imanchu, what is the point of restricting it if it's taking everything, whatever it wants to run it? Right? So, okay, Nobody. let's run this command. It still is close to like whatever we have on the physical machine. So, something is going wrong, right? wrong, right? Why do you guys think this memory does not, I mean, Whatever the restriction I have applied is I am doing something wrong or I am telling you guys something wrong. Why do you guys think that this restriction does not apply to this machine? Oh, sorry, to this container. In order to understand that, let me log into this guy. Okay. So let me tell you, I mean, it's not a technical reason again. It's something to do with. Okay, let me show you and then I will explain it to you guys. Okay, so we have this container running 919. 919, right? And we have seen that it is still occupying the four whole, I will say roughly one GB of memory, whatever which is present on the physical machine. Now, let me run a command called, and I will tell you what exactly I'm running and why I'm running it. Uh, I think it's Docker stacks. 
just talk us directly. Okay. Here, if you see for this container, I mean, think of if if you if the if it is the first time you are seeing this command, think of it like a top command for Docker, just in a simple word. Okay. Here you see that this container, if you look at this column, this memory uses is 952 kilobytes and the limit is 256 MB. And here it is showing the correct limit that whatever we have applied to this particular container. Okay. And do you guys know what's going on? Like here I'm seeing the correct limit, whatever I apply to the container. But here, if I logged in inside the container, I'm seeing a wrong limit. Anyone know what's going on? Is we are doing something wrong or we are not setting up a limit properly? Is it because the three minus M command is actually being run on the host OS, like because of the kernel is being shared? Uh, actually, no. Uh, that memory is allocated, but the container is still not using it. Uh, but you can see here, right? Here we are getting the exact limit as well as the whatever the actual uses versus whatever the limit we have set. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I mean the reason is not technical. The reason is that that this free command exists from a long time back, right? I mean whenever the whenever they have wrote the Linux kernel, so this free command is not aware of this control group functionality. So it is still looking at all the primitives places where it need to like inside the proc, and it is trying to get a value out from there. It is not looking at something called a C group. So inside the kernel, you have a space called, oops. I think this is the place. One second, I think. I can give you guys the exact location. Sys, FS, C groups, and I think there's a section called memory here. So this is the actual place where we have set up a limit. But it is still looking at out the old location like proc and everything to pass out the memory. And that's why it is not giving you the correct output. Whereas this modern command, which has been developed, keeping uh, Docker into mind, this is actually looking at the right location to get the information like how much is the actual limit we have put for our container. So in case of a container, if you need to look at the, the exact amount of memory this container is using, you need to use something called stats command. Otherwise, if you look at this uh, pre-m, you will not get the real out. 